Have you ever wondered what would happen if we dumped all our trash into a volcano? It's a thought that might have crossed your mind, given the sheer power and allure of these natural wonders. Volcanoes, with their destructive might, captivate our imaginations. Now what if we harness that power to deal with our escalating waste problem? Could these fiery furnaces offer a radical yet viable solution? This video will explore what happens when we throw trash into a volcano and if it's a viable solution for waste management. To understand the effects of dumping trash into a volcano, we first need to understand the anatomy of a volcano. So, let's dive into the fiery world beneath us. A volcano is more than just a mountain with a hole at the top. It's a fascinating complex structure that houses a literal hotbed of activity. At its core is the magma chamber, a reservoir of molten rock lying several kilometers beneath the Earth's surface. This magma is under immense pressure, and when that pressure builds up it seeks an outlet, creating a path or conduit up through the crust. Along this conduit several vents may form, creating multiple exit points for the magma. The main vent leads directly to the crater at the top of the volcano, which is where we typically see eruptions occur. There are different types of volcanoes too, including shield volcanoes, cinder cones, and composite or stratovolcanoes. Each type erupts in a unique way and creates a distinct landscape. Now let's talk temperature. The magma within a volcano can reach extreme temperatures, typically between 700 to 1200 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. This high temperature along with the intense pressure inside a volcano is what makes them so powerful and, in some instances, incredibly destructive. Now that we understand the inner workings of a volcano, we can start to explore what happens when trash meets this fiery inferno. Imagine throwing a bag of trash into a volcano, what do you think will happen? Let's delve into the immediate effects of this seemingly straightforward action. First off, the high temperatures within a volcano, reaching up to 1200 degrees Celsius can incinerate most types of trash almost instantly. Sounds like a perfect solution for our waste problems, right? Not so fast. Throwing trash into a volcano isn't as simple as tossing a paper into a fiery bin. The explosive nature of volcanoes combined with the properties of our everyday trash can lead to unexpected and potentially dangerous reactions. For instance, metals like aluminum and steel found in cans and foils can react violently when exposed to such extreme heat. Even glass, which is made from sand, and can withstand high temperatures, could potentially explode due to rapid heat expansion. But it's not just the solid waste that poses a problem. Consider the plastic materials in our trash. When plastic is incinerated it releases toxic gases like dioxins and furans, which are harmful to both humans and the environment. Even if the volcano's heat manages to break down these toxins, the gases can still rise with the volcanic plume and spread over a large area. Let's not forget the organic waste either. Food scraps and other organic materials can create methane, a potent greenhouse gas, when they decompose. If we throw these into a volcano, we are essentially adding fuel to the fire, contributing to an increase in greenhouse gas emissions. Finally, there's the issue of scale, the sheer volume of trash we produce every day which is about 2 billion tons per year globally, is far beyond the capacity of any volcano. Trying to dispose of all this waste in a volcano could lead to overflows and other catastrophic consequences. As we can see, throwing trash into a volcano might not be as simple or as safe as we might initially think. The immediate effects alone are cause for concern, and that's without even considering the long-term environmental consequences, which we'll discuss in the next segment. Beyond the immediate reactions, what are the longer-term environmental effects of using volcanoes as trash incinerators? Well, let's delve into this a bit. One of the most significant concerns is the release of harmful gases. When you burn trash, particularly plastics, harmful gases like dioxins, furans, and mercury can be released. These gases are not just harmful to us but also to the environment. They can contribute to air pollution, acid rain, and even the depletion of the ozone layer. Now let's talk about climate change. You've probably heard of carbon dioxide or CO2. It's one of the primary greenhouse gases responsible for global warming. Guess what's produced when you burn trash? You got it, CO2. So dumping all our trash into volcanoes could significantly increase the levels of CO2 in the atmosphere, accelerating the pace of climate change. But it's not just about the air. The harmful effects of this method extend to local wildlife and ecosystems as well. These toxic gases can contaminate water sources, affecting both marine and terrestrial life. The acid rain caused by these gases can alter soil composition, making it less hospitable for plants. This could lead to a decrease in biodiversity, 
disrupting the delicate balance of our ecosystems. Furthermore, let's consider the potential for catastrophic events. Volcanoes are unpredictable. Constantly dumping trash into them could potentially trigger eruptions, causing widespread destruction not only to the immediate vicinity, but also creating global effects through the release of massive amounts of ash and gases into the atmosphere. So why isn't this method of waste disposal considered environmentally friendly? For starters, it could exacerbate climate change, harm biodiversity, and pose significant risks to our health. Plus, it's not a sustainable solution. We can't just keep burning our problems away, we need to find ways to reduce, reuse, and recycle. While it might seem like an easy solution, using volcanoes to dispose of our waste could have disastrous environmental consequences. So the next time you think about tossing that soda can into a volcano, remember the consequences are far-reaching and long-lasting. So, if volcanoes aren't the answer to our waste problem, what is? The truth is there are far more sustainable and environmentally friendly methods of managing our waste. Take recycling for instance. By sorting our waste and reusing materials, we can significantly reduce the amount of trash that ends up in landfills. Then there's composting. Organic waste like fruit peels and coffee grounds can be converted into nutrient-rich compost for our gardens. But perhaps the most effective strategy is to simply reduce our consumption. By thinking carefully about what we buy and use, we can drastically cut down on the amount of waste we produce in the first place. Investing in these methods might require a little more effort and thoughtfulness on our part, but the payoff is a cleaner, healthier planet. Instead of looking for drastic solutions like throwing our trash into volcanoes, we should focus on more sustainable practices to manage our waste effectively. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. That's all for Nifty Narrations.